Emin G -G. and Stark. So it's already GG. <laughs> He's trolling us now. Oh, look at look at Stark's um, map. Oh but, my uh, god. Look at all the sheep. They're right there. Oh wow, you could potentially lame. Uh, so I need to preface everything here uh, or the games here with this. Um, there were this is a best of 5 and they were played about well within the last couple hours we did not catch them live. But there were both players used their rehost that was available to them. We're not casting the rehost. So you kind of know ahead of time that none of these players can use their rehosts. So right now, as we see Stark having a really nice map and finding all of his sheep right away, he could mm. potentially go out and lame before the five minute mark. There can be no rehost, or there will be no rehost that we'll see. So I just want to let you so, know. Yeah. So looking at the maps here, I think Stark, like he does have the forward gold, but he also has two extras along the side there. Yeah, yeah. He has the deer within pushable distances. He already found his sheep. His one boar is out front and his other boar is safe. He's got yeah. a nice map, man. I think it's pretty good. Like uh, I really like his wood lines. Like his wood line, not yeah. so much the one on the right, but the one on the left is so nice. A couple of palisades to secure the left hand side. Uh, and then also that other wood line, he could easily palisade and secure that as well. And there's like uh, not really in range of any feudal age pressure, at least. The gold's a little bit tricky, but I wouldn't be surprised if he builds his barracks and everything out near the gold. You know and just what? He, that. And then later in the game, he can just put a wall right from the wood line to the edge of the map. And exactly, the and then golds. secure the other golds. Yep. Yeah. Yep. We're on the same the page. Stone, the stone is a bit dicey there. Like, I don't like the stone and the gold being right beside each other. I mean, if, yeah. if uh, Eamon takes control of that area, the whole whack of resources denied. But. I mean, Eamon has a pretty good map as well, except for the forward gold. Uh, I'm gonna... I guess if I pause, it pauses for you, right? I think so. Try it. Did it pause for you? No. Okay. I paused it. <laughs> okay. I need to change the title of the stream real quick. Um, <clears throat> okay. That way people know. I did not do that. I mean, I haven't seen it. Oh, you paused it. How can it be a pause when it's a recorded game? You can pause the Rex. Um, I think we'll both catch up to the same spot. I'm oh, not sure. Least... I've, uh, oh, Dave's gone. Dave, I've sped it. I've started again. Uh, we won't need to pause going forward. Where are you? Uh, I'm at like 3.30. So where are you at? I am at four minutes. Tell me when you get there and I'll unpause. Don't spoil. I I'm at I'm at four fifteen now. I've gone to speed seventy five. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you yeah, can I'm catch at, up I'm to me. Yeah, I'm at four thirty. I'm at four forty right now. Ah, uh, awesome. We're on the same page. Okay. Okay. So let's cool. let's look at. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Let's look at uh, Emmons' map here. So, Emmons' map. Uh, well, I like the back wood line. It's really nice. It's kind of close to the TC and uh, on the back, which is very very good. Uh, the gold's on the front, and that could be of worry. Also, the second gold's also on the front, so if you lose one, you lose both. Mm, uh, the stones are also a little far away. Yeah, yeah. It's world. kind of open. There's really only one wood line that Emin can take. That's kind of problematic, but it is on the back, so, I mean, it should be easy to secure. I mean, I the deer are also pushable, and yeah. if you can see Stark, he's already pushed the deer. Yeah, I did see Stark with that. He's pushed two deers. Like that's yeah, he's going lot. for the eco approach. He hasn't that's even... a big bonus. <clears throat> yeah, it's really smart to, to lure in those deer if you can. Um, it's really wise of him to do that. He's getting in his boar now. Stark has a really efficient start here. Like, he, he's killing the boar right as the sheep expires. Yeah. He's got two deers in there. Uh, he's pushing the third one, although it's running around. It doesn't want to touch him. I really like this approach, though. Not enough players do it. I mean, if you have the deer there or the man, then you'll have more than enough time to scout out as well. And yeah. uh, meanwhile, like, Emin's already over here, but what's he... Oh, is he going to lose his scout? Okay. No, uh, I don't think he's so. He's not. Ooh, it was close. But, uh... Oh, he's trying to steal the sheep? Yep, he's going to just nick the sheep away. <laughs> that was not classy at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's a thief. It's a burglar. <laughs> he just ran, and of course, like, Stark is luring the deer, so he's just going to prefer to take the deer in now. But, uh, you know, notice Stark actually hasn't seen his other sheep that's next to his mill. 
Yeah, wait, no, I think I think he has because I saw him send a sheep. Fog of War, no. No, it's Fog of War. He can't see it. <laughs> so I mean, he's gonna. If he doesn't realize that Eamon stole his sheep, he's gonna think he's down too. Yeah. He might. <laughs> oh, and look, Eamon's gonna find it. <laughs> he's gonna run right into it. <laughs> I mean, he's bound to run into it if he stays here for he's sure. He's standing right there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Oh boy. Nice uh, second lumber camp by Stark. Uh, make sure his villagers safe there, and he can wall. He can three tile palisade or just a house and yeah. palisade, right there. Um, if oh, he might be able to like wall in yet, yeah, even the scout if he wanted to, but yeah, it'd be pr kind of hard to do. Um, <laughs> That'd be a lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I don't know if it'd be worth the effort. <laughs> um, so, so on um, the other side, I'm trying to pay attention to the build then for him, and he's uh. Got two lumber camps on the back wood, which is nice, and it looks like Stark's gonna see that. And if you if you look at uh, the fog of war of Stark, he doesn't have that much scouting in, but just seeing that wood line is gonna be enough for him That's right really now. That's really important, yeah. Yeah. And he can see the farm, so he knows he didn't push the deer. Yep. He's gonna be a bit slower to feudal, but he is one villager up, and I think it's worth it. Twenty seconds yeah, behind. Yeah. He also has the deer the as well, villager. so the deer is a huge deal. I mean, it's really unfortunate. He really should not have lost those sheep at all. And Eamon is a bit slow with the barracks, to be honest. He's uh, yeah. already feudal right yeah, now. Yeah, he should he should definitely already be building that stable. Yeah. So here he goes with the stable. Does he have enough wood? Yeah. Okay. Yep, he's going to build it. But still, I mean, you know, on the other side, we have Stark building his now, and he is a villager ahead. Um... So getting horse collar and double bit axe right yeah. away. That double bit axe food coming is in for huge. Eamon now. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean just from the deer there, I mean he pushed all four. Like that's a lot of food. The one it's the like one uh, the one sheep coming back now from, from Eamon now going underneath <laughs> the TC. It's just War joining. Of the sheep. <laughs> that's nice no, for him why, to get. Why would you use four veals to build one stables? Oh, uh, he wanted Four it up wheels? fast. Yeah, but he wanted it up fast. Yeah, maybe he was—he knew that he was up a little bit later. I mean, yeah. generally it's like two, but... Uh, so, okay, so the Palisade Wall is going up for Stark, and th like we said, it's like really, really easy Palisading to just like cover half of his map, really. Um, then he knows that, that Emin has to go where he wants him to go. He's just going to wait. Uh, he could push out, but you see he already has his... A spear right there on his berries and uh, he's in a good spot right now I think his his eco is set up to I mean he already got the economic research is in and he's in a good spot to continue creating villagers and scouts but saying that look at that he's not making any more scouts he's doing more walling what do you think about that Dave he's doing more wall I like that though because he realizes he has to get that gold he's not gonna go up the castle age without that gold He's just playing defensive, in my opinion. Like yeah. he's making another spear. He's not making any more scouts. I guess he just wants to. Definitely wants to uh, get to he's the castle safe. age. Yeah, he wants to get he's to the castle safe. age. But yeah. uh, look at the amount of farms. Yeah, the similar amount figured, of farms, but yeah, he probably he probably thinks his map is just so good. This game that he can go defensive, and it might work out for him. <laughs> yep. We'll have to see if it does work out, because now we have these scouts coming out at the bottom, and there's four of them, enough to take out the spear. And Stark, does he see it? He's going to the wood line, I bet. Yeah, well... Yeah, because he scouted out the wood line earlier. He, yeah, of course he's coming to, yeah. So, if Stark sees it in time, he might be able to quick wall... Oh, he did! Nice. Oh, wow. Well, no, it's... yeah. And he has his own scouts coming back now. He should be able yeah, to push that's, his back. Yeah, that's not a fight he wants. Spears coming over as well. And now the problem yeah. is, is that these scouts are going to have to run through the TC and yeah. through a spear. And See? Yeah. how are you liking that wall there now, Tristan? <laughs> oh, they ran into now? the TC. Wow. Do you yeah. approve now? The, I mean, it could have been played a little <laughs> bit better to defend myself. But, and the uh, scouts from Stark are, are going into uh, his woodline as well. Yeah, I see that. <clears throat> Just harassing but the idle a bit. villager, the idle villager at the wood line. Oh my god, it's been there for two minutes. Oh, he's got an idol there, and also he has an idol on his berries, which is not The female? Though. Yeah. It's a typical female. Oh my god. <laughs> he's just sitting there, you know. So, Wait. 
they're going to meet in the middle with their scouts, along. but, you know, Stark just isn't bringing his other scouts into the fight here. He could even come forward with the spear. Uh, it's still there! Five more scouts coming out from uh, Eamon oh, now. Oh, man. And another uh, archery range uh, getting laid down. Archery yeah. range getting laid down by Stark as well. They both have forward gold, although I feel like Eamon's doing a better job of kind of defending it with his buildings. Yeah, definitely. That's that's making the best of his situation. Now, I think that Eamon could be in a good spot if he deals with these scouts, because they are they do with bloodlines. I think with the amount of scouts out from Eamon, he could do with bloodlines himself. Yeah, he's getting in now. bloodlines, yeah. man. That's... Like, Stark needs the wall some more, or wall around... Oh, he's doing it now. He's walling around his, his uh, wood line, which is a good move, because that's really vulnerable. Uh, his berry is not so much anymore, because he's pretty much exhausted. How... Fear coming in, but it's not going to do much against that many scouts. Did Stark get wheelbarrow? Can you no, check? No, I don't think so. Because he's five I'll bills I'll down. I'll check, though. Is he five bills down? He's five no. bills down, and he didn't you know, lose. Not a unit has died this game. So for him to have be five bills down, that's either a lot of vital no real time, yeah. or he got wheelbarrow. Or town watch, or something. I mean... So if you could check that. Um, Stark does not seem too confident right now with his forward gold. He's got the tower. He's building his buildings there, which is great, but he's already built the yeah, tower. Yeah, he, he did get he did get Wilbur. <laughs> okay, okay, that makes sense then. Yeah. Uh, scout's coming out, and there's more of them then for Emin, and he's going to uh, possibly be able to take this fight. I mean, there's only one spear there, so... Look at Put... Stark's resources, though. Yeah, they're pretty good. But Pretty I... good? They're outrageously but good. I think that... Uh, with the amount of scouts out here from Emin, if he, he can buy himself time if he wins these fights. But he's fighting underneath the TC right now. He needs to be careful. But, Need uh, more spears from Stark. For sure. Yeah. As you can see, these scouts are just being microed so well. There's idle vills in this, these wood lines here for Stark. Stark is just really not doing well. And a forward spear here carrying the wolf then. I actually <laughs> saw that. I actually saw that earlier. <laughs> but, uh... So, I mean, Stark almost cannot click up now. He has Yeah, but look at, look at Eamon's archers. resources. They're looking almost the same now. Yeah, yeah. It's just definitely. that extra... I mean, he's only two villagers behind now because Eamon went for wheelbarrow. Yeah. Um, but it, it's... It was that extra time where he was like five villagers ahead. I think the efficiency for wheelbarrow... Oh, bad these fight, scouts! Bad fight. Yeah. But so many weak ones for Eamon as well. At least three. I'm Four interested now. to see what Eamon is doing. Well, look how many archers he has in his range. He's going up to a third range. He has so he has 17 military versus the five of Stark. Uh, and he's got to pick off a villager on the barriers. No, he's not. But I mean, at this point, Stark needs to do something to, to push this back. I feel like he's going to actually pick up on equal time, or at least later. And if that's the case, he's going to be really up against it, because look how many archers are being created from Eamon. And look at that, there's like a two or three second difference? Five second difference, okay. I was a little bit off, but uh, yeah, so it's going to be I'm really hard. I'm surprised it's only that much, to be honest. I mean, the, the bad thing for Stark here is that he's lost a lot of the map control. So these wrecks, what's the risk asked? Uh, is it live? These are, it's about two hours behind. So these have not been streamed. Um, anyway, <clears throat> the archers are here from Stark then. And these scouts are just buying some time, really. Uh, they could They're pick so off weak. a villager, though. Yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Nah, they, they won't just pick off that one. Go. I mean, there's only one scout there that has full HP. <clears throat> and you can see, like, a couple arrows are knocking down the, the extra ones as well. But look at all the archers from Eamon. Look at how many yeah, archers he has. Yeah, he has so many. And, and four uh, archery <laughs> ranges, going up to Castle Age, getting fletching. Like, we had said that Stark had a great map, but if he doesn't win his fights, it doesn't really matter. He's not going to be able to get the other golds. His wood lines, actually, at this point, probably all can be reached by crossbows with plus two. And his gold, <laughs> that will be wrecked as well. So, uh, it's going to be really rough for Stark right now. He's going to kill off the scouts at least. Uh, one scout, maybe another one. No, they got away. I feel but like the, the scout archers, should stay alive, yeah. The archers from Eamon, he has so many. He's going to be up a little bit slower, but 
Yeah, five seconds you is nothing. You just have so, so many more than uh, the Stark has. Yeah, I mean, Stark should have what, a what lot time are you at, Dave? The exact time. I'm, I'm at 22.54. What are you at? Alright, yeah, I'm around there as well. I'm just curious because it says uh, host time. Or the, uh, oh, yeah. pointed that out. I'm just curious, I don't know. But anyway, <clears throat> so these two are gonna probably have... Oh, start getting thumb ring right away. I think it's really interesting. He's getting bodkin, crossbow, and thumb ring. And he knows the crossbows are coming as well. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's gonna lose a villager. Oh, he's he not gonna do it in time. Oh. Two, three... Thumb ring can make a big, big difference. <laughs> yeah, but he's lost two villagers and... I don't know if it will in this situation. It's just they're just singling each other out. Uh, well, singling he got each other it now, down. so we'll see. Yeah. Go, go, Another go, go, go. Down. University coming right away from Stark. Wow. And this is this is really surprising, honestly. Uh, wow, fantastic micro there from Emin as well, but really surprising with the map that Stark had that he's been placed on the back foot. And look at all the Vills that are close to these crossbows. Do you go for the crossbows or do you go for the Vills? It's a decision you gotta make. Oh, but Emin just throwing uh, his army away. At this point, Stark, yeah, good micro. Emin had really nothing there. He killed two villagers. Um, and he might actually, if he cleans up his three crossbows, he can do... No, there's cav archers coming in from Stark now. But <laughs> yeah. He has a lot of idle time, I found. Like, whenever he builds buildings, he's he's busy with his military, so he's not, he's not using... Like, he had five idle villagers on the university... Um, he had a bunch of idols on the blacksmith before, like, just, it accumulates over time. <laughs> Look at the build difference now, 12 bills ahead then for Emin, and, uh, he's in a much better position. He has cav archers, he has bloodlines, plus two defense. Ah, uh, wow. Well, I mean... And the way he's made his base, I mean, his forward gold was exposed before, but now it's really secure. Yeah, yeah. Like, behind he's... those archer ranges with the tower? He's had for map Emin, control anyway. the entire time. Yeah. And I like how he's sending these crossbows along the top to, to try and cause some problems on the wood line while he fights at the bottom, splitting up his army. Yep. I do like the crossbow I've seen from Emin thus far, but he is going to lose, looks like, some units here. Um, he doesn't have thumb ring, so keep in mind, when the battles get bigger, yeah. it could be hard, but crossbows are coming in behind these wood lines now. Looks Stark like... has uh, got this. Uh, not sorry. Um, Valentine has got this now. Oh, he's getting ballistics now. I do think he certainly has the advantage. There's a uh, 13 build difference. So you just hold that and get extra TCs up. He should be fine. But he's placing more pressure. And I like the crossbows, like I said. That's really, really smart. And uh, it's going to force all these villagers off of wood. And the wood eco for Stark, like, I swear, Dave, what we said right away. Look at his wood and gold. <laughs> gold in the left, wood in the left. It's so great. And now he's not collecting any of it. So, uh, pretty insane. Nimini was right, man. <laughs> yes, Nimini, whoever the hell that is. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the Cav Archers for Stark also has Ballistics as well, but there you go. Uh, we do have soon to be level and upgrades. Emin, he's mm. getting Thumb Ring, and he really wants that gold. I mean. Also, he has an extra Archer armor. He's got the second one. Yeah, and, and he's had Stark the second doesn't. one for a while as well. Yeah, and Stark just got the first one like a minute ago. Yeah. And, and I mean, it doesn't really matter with the crossbow fights, uh, because you're microing, so like one shot's gonna kill him regardless of how much armor yep, you have. Exactly. But on the uh, cav archer fights, when you get bigger groups and you're not micro microing single units, uh, it does matter. What's this Vil doing from Stark? Running out around? It's distracting. The... She's I... <laughs> she's panicking. She's being a woman. She's you know panicking. <laughs> Oh, but Stark take a bad fight there. He does at the tower. He lost a couple units there. I heard the Vill go down. I'm not sure if it came out to distract again and it didn't work out. But um... <laughs> not Nimini. Nimino. No, I, I think I think it was a villager at the wood line because he's still there for, with the crossbows. I see but a I just fresh heard the second there. TC up go up for Emin, and there's still not one for yeah, Stark. Yeah, and he's got he's got 250 stone uh, in the bank even after the second TC. Hmm. So you think? <clears throat> yeah. Where's his stone? He has two on stone. I think he has two on stone. Number, yeah. yeah. 
I, I, I don't know if he realizes he has two own stone. <laughs> maybe maybe he'll place his next TC on that stone and then go forward with the castle or something at some point. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I can't see him doing that when he has the advantage. Yeah, yeah, I, like I just this. don't understand. That's the only way I can justify him having stone right now, because he's... I don't know. But anyway, let's not worry about that. I think now uh, he's just he's all over Stark. Stark yeah. is just trying. He needs to win a fight, and he's just losing every he's one. He's not going to win this one, I can no. tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure, and all his bills are there on gold. He's not going to be able to break out to his other golds at all. Yeah, it's it's tough for him, and he's calling the GG. Yeah, that was pretty predictable. Yeah. I mean, he didn't... The biggest difference there was that he didn't raid... He didn't raid Eamon at all. I don't think he killed a single villager from Eamon. Uh, Did he? Well... Back at, no, I don't think so. I don't think he killed one. And we, I kind of said in the beginning, I felt like he was being too comfortable, and he just didn't push out. And uh, it looks like their TC was going to go for Emin, but yeah, you're right. Not one Vil actually died. Well, I, I said from right from the 